Recording Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89. Today's Vonga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Fairy Tale 100 Years Quest Chapter 80. And ooh, this is going to be very, very interesting because uh, Natsu ran into Suzaku at the end of last chapter. And Suzaku has no idea what Natsu looks like. And Natsu has no idea about Suzaku or who the fuck Suzaku is. This is gonna be freaking entertaining as hell. Let's get to this chapter and see what's in store for us today. And this chapter is titled Suzaku. Oh my god, this is gonna be hilarious. Here we go. Look at that, everyone's like... I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> um... The smell? You're a dragon slayer? Verily, and thou art. <laughs> no, ah, uh, no, halt! Allow me an indifference. Naked with a scarf. A pervert! <laughs> I'm not so a fire dragon slayer. I can't believe that there would be a dragon slayer in this world also. Nay, I am one who hails from Earthland. Rather, I have been summoned. Reincarnated in another world! I also came from Earthland. A coincidence! Um, I have come to defeat Selene. We got the same goal! A coincidence! <laughs> oh my god! Dude, uh, just watch! We're gonna have a bromance by the end of this! I swear to god! If we do not get a bromance out of this by the end of this whole thing, I'm gonna just. I'm just gonna die. I'm gonna die if we don't. I guess that may. Oh my god! charge. Look, I found my scarf. That's good. You were surprised because you disappeared so suddenly. Uh, can't you just use a collar? <laughs> oh, God. Huh? Where's Aquarius? As expected, even with this much magic power here, I can't keep summon her summoned all the time. So, who is this person? Thou, may thou mayst call us to be Suzaku. For reasons unknown, I have been summoned to this world to subdue Selene. Damn, Suzaku's fine. I, I can't help it. I can't help but just like, God, he's so pretty. He is. Pr you cannot deny how pretty Suzaku is. Defeat Celine. Everyone here's. Everyone here's a friend. Friend. You mean someone like with celestial magic? Who do you um? Who do you think called him? More importantly, you're naked with uh with just your scarf. <laughs> with just your scarf. You look like a pervert. Um, says the guy who's totally ass naked. What would that happen? Yeah! <laughs> that's <a> suck. <laughs> oh my god! I'm <laughs> naked! And we just ended a weird situation. Put your clothes on, Gray. Um, 
Um. Uh, Black, Black uh, Moon Mountain is here, is it not? I don't know. If you're saying the name of this place, I had us come, uh, come as upon hearing Celine was here, and yet, then you're not wrong. She's definitely here. I think he. Then I shall go cut her down. Wait a sec, that's our job. Thou art to music, folks, but I cannot hand this over to thee. If I dally round, I mayest be overtaken by fairy tale. Oh no! <laughs> fairy tale, indeed, foes of my guilt, I, I has heard. A fire dragon slayer, a black haired ice wizard, a red haired swordswoman, a blonde celestial wizard, a small child dragon slayer, and two cats. Oh my god! Oh, surely ye are not fairy tale. How confusing! Hold on, we're not exactly your diabolos. Uh, that's my guild. You're with those guys. Thou ye uh, may be delightful folk. Ye are enemies who injured my guildmates. Prepare yourselves. Woo! Yes! Woo! This is gonna be good. <gasps> no! Destroyed. Oh shit! Urza, yeah, you are you serious with just a single strike? Urza was, uh, Urza, hang in there, Urza. She was able to react to my blade. That does it. Stop it, Natsu. He's on a whole different level. Woo! Oh shit! That's that's just got. Natsu, no! Oh, he's real bad news. I did it to avenge my guild. What happened here? You don't mean to stand in my way, do you? <gasps> Celine! Yeah, dude, I love Celine's design so freaking much. And you fucked with Celine's toys. She, nah, she wasn't done with them yet. And she ain't happy about this. Um, I couldn't help but overhear this troubling story about which of you would defeat me first. Dear me, to think that the five dragon gods would be reduced to something someone's hunting trophies. Honestly, what a tasteless story. <laughs> you tell him, Celine. I'm glad Celine came down and said this. Um, so thou art Celine. Natsu and Urza are in real bad shape. Let's retreat. Yeah. How can I meet me after them? Yes, ma'am. Got it. How can I... Oh, man. I need my How can I Gray fight. Because this is where Gray is going to have, like, an evolution. I need that. I need that. I shall take this swordsman. <gasps> oh, Celine's going to fight? Oh, man! Your ass is done, Suzaku! Your ass is done! Pardon me, but our guild shall be uh, the one to feast on this dragon. We shall take the head of the five dragon gods. Have at you! Now come! The magical powers of the moon will kill you, toad! Suzaku, your ass is gonna get whooped! This is gonna be a kick-ass fight, mind you. But now, Suzaku, you ain't killing Selene. If Suzaku kills Selene, I'll be very surprised. But nah, she's gonna whoop your ass. She's going to whoop your sorry ass, Suzaku. I'll be very surprised if Suzaku wins. I'll be very, very, very surprised by this. But man, woo! Here's the thing that I have to point out here, because I've been hearing shit. I hear a lot of shit still. How we still have uh, Nakama power up in here, up in Fairy Tale. And, you know, fairy tales that come a power reputation. Nah! Motherfuckers, you don't get it. You guys need to read. This is why you gotta see. Whenever I see someone on Twitter talking about fairy tale, knock of a power shit, I'm like, no! You can't say that shit no more. You need to read Fairy Tale 100 Years Quest before you try and say some stupid shit like that. And you can't even say, um, knock of a, uh, you can't say, uh, knock of buying anymore. Cause, do what knock of is doing in, um, uh, Four Nights of the Apocalypse? Woo! What Nakaba's doing in Four Nights of the Apocaly uh, Apocalypse is just wow. But anyway, 
Let me get back to this chapter. <laughs> I fucking love Z Dude, Suzaku gonna end up turning. Suzaku gonna end up getting his ass whooped, but he gonna end up turning. I just got I got a feeling he's gonna end up turning. Watch. But um Hakane I, I really want my Hakane Gray fight. Seriously. Atsuo, don't don't troll me with this Hakane Gray fight. I want my Hakane Gray fight. I want Gray to have his transformation and you know become like a ice uh, um an ice god slayer. I want it. I want my ice god slayer. He needs it. He needs my ice god slayer. He needs it. Needs it. Needs it. Needs it. Needs it. And this would be the perfect time for it. That's. I think that's why we're going this route and we took out Urza and Natsu because. It's time. It's really time for uh, for Gray to get his get his time and get his transformation, get his upgrade. And part of me wants to say that Lucy. Well, Lucy already got an upgrade. Well, someone got an upgrade, but would this mean that it's Wendy time? Well, we could get a combination of Wendy and Lucy time. We could. But, and Wendy technically got an upgrade, but she could again. But something that would be very interesting to see in the end of all this, if Lady, um, if Lady, um, if Lady Irene comes out and she takes over Celine's body, oh my god, if she does, if we go this route, I will lose my shit. Do it! Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Because if that bitch comes out and takes over uh, Celine's body, oh, man, that would make so much sense. Oh, man. Atsuo, Mashima, please tell me you're going to be doing this. That Celine's going to be the new vessel. Ooh, cause if if she the if she if Celine is the vessel, oh man! If Celine is the vessel, ooh, you everyone is fucked. If Celine ends up being the vessel and she gets possessed, ooh, you thought if you thought Celine was OP, pre if this is if she pre vessel, you thought Celine was OP. Think Celine, you think Celine is OP now? Woo! If she is the vessel and she gets possessed, oh, then you, then you guys are all fucked. Everybody gonna be fucked if she ends up being the new vessel. Oh, but I can see it. I can actually picture her being the vessel. I really could. I actually really hope that she ends up being the vessel. Seriously, I want. I, I really want Celine to be the new vessel. I needs that. I really do. Because I can see so much happening if she's the vessel. Oh my god, please do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it, Atsuo and Mashima. I want this to happen. I want it to happen. Anyway, I'm very curious what you guys think. Can you guys see what I'm seeing about Celine actually being the vessel? Especially considering how much magic is up in here. Man, and what did you guys think of this chapter? This shit was great. I love this. Do you and do you guys think that by the end of all this, Suzaku is going to turn? I really think Suzaku is going to turn by, by the end of this. He could, he gonna be and watch. He'll be coming with us. If Suzaku don't die here, she he's gonna be coming with us. We got some broness going on. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more fairy tale content, there's a few ways you could do that. Donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something on my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.